Hi and welcome to a quick tutorial on resizing your images. This is for SIT's Diploma in Digital Film and Digital Photography and 103 predominantly but um, you may find that this gets added to other courses as well. So we're going to open our image. Now for 103 you're only using um, Adobe Camera Raw for any of your editing. We just use um, Photoshop itself for, for doing the resize. Now this should go along with your PDF um, for formatting um, images for submission. And this is Adobe Camera Raw. Now I'm not going to go into a huge amount of detail with this. You've got other videos that will take you through it. Um, so we're just going to open our image and this is going to be straight out of camera. Okay, so our image is in Photoshop. The first thing you want to do is file save as and we're going to save it as a Photoshop or PSD file and the reason that you're going to do that is when we do further work we're going to resize the file um, and if you don't save a copy so we've saved as once and save as again and then um, I just usually type small in and just so I've got a, a second copy um, and we'll will actually rename it properly as we export it. But you always save a copy like this, otherwise you're saving the small version over the top and you can end up losing your data in the, the long run, which is not fantastic. So we've saved as, and now we're going to go to image and image size, and drag this across here, which is always helpful, and we're going to change our settings. Now we want to make sure that we are on pixels, and the resolution doesn't matter. Um, the reason the resolution doesn't matter is we're not printing. Um, the resolution, the pixels per inch only actually makes any difference when you're when you're printing. There is a couple of times where you might be asked in um, a further course to make sure that you have your resolution set at a particular size, and that's because the image is theoretically going for for printing. So. Um, Let's just make sure we've got everything on there. We're going to make sure this um, is locked. If you unlock this and you start typing in your numbers, um, in this case we need a height of 900, um, and you unlock this, then you'll end up squashing and distorting the image, which is bad. So um, we don't want that. So 900 is going to be our height, and you see our width is smaller. Now it's dropped down to 598. Um, if we had a landscape image, then we would type in 1500, and as long as the height comes in under 900, then we're fine. If the height's over 900, which is the case in this, because we've got a portrait, then you need to type in 900, and that will make the width smaller. One of these should be the maximum size. If not, you're not actually sending your images in as at the highest quality as possible, um, which means we're not getting to see your work and therefore can't actually um, judge it particularly well. Next thing we need to do is set this to bicubic sharpen, which is for reduction, and we're pretty much good to go. We can click OK. And we're up now. You notice that the the image size on the screen has has reduced, which is pretty much what we expect. And the next thing we need to do is we're going to save it, and that's just going to save it as the PSD file. And then we're going to go and save as, and we want to change it to a JPEG. and in this case we will rename it at this point properly. So the file name is going to be your paper, so 103 dash what week we're on, which is week one, and Chris Parkin. Um, and we really should have dashes in between each of these. Not absolutely critical that you have the dashes. What is critical is that when you're doing this, you stick to the same format each time. Especially making sure that the um, that you have 103-1 um, 
in there and your own name written the same way otherwise when we come to sort it your images can get jumbled up and it just makes life difficult for your tutor so hit save and you have the option of all the resolutions um, and we want to make sure that the, the quality is set to large um, because we're making the image so small um, in terms of its the number of pixels um, we can cope with the, the high image quality it's not going to cause us any problems there and click OK alright and that's pretty much it you should be done however it's always worth going and double checking in your library wherever you've saved the images that you've actually saved them correctly and the right size so right click if you're in Windows properties and then you can go into details and you should see the dimensions and you should also still be able to see all of the camera data or the XF data. Now this is important because it's one of the tools that we use to be able to give you feedback. Um, if your images are blurry there's a whole pile of reasons that, that they may be um, that, that might be the case and we need to be able to look at them and work out what's going on. Most of the time we can tell from the, the images themselves but um, yeah, if you, your depth of field is, is too shallow um, or you've you've cranked your f stop up to like f22 and um, and you don't need to, then it's useful for us to be able to give you the feedback. Uh, it makes makes our our lives a little bit easier and um, hopefully gives you some better feedback as well. All right, and then you just simply upload this to Blackboard, which um, you'll find that there's another video done for for that. Cool. Um, hopefully you've had a good week, and we'll see you around.